at the National Coffee Bill 2018 seeks to empower the National Coffee Development Authority, NCDA, to regulate both on and off farm coffee production activities. <coughs> Ever since the bill was introduced before the Parliament's Agriculture Committee, some clauses have raised concerns from stakeholders. One of them is Clause 26.1, which gives NCDA the mandate to register all coffee farmers. Clause 26.2b further gives the authority powers to evaluate the land and determine the suitability for growing coffee. When they appeared before the Agriculture Committee, officials from the National Coffee Research Institute, a government body, rejected these clauses. And if the farmers are not registered as farmers as, as farm in the National Register of Coffee, what is the implication? Because when you look at the penalties, that was not appearing. So they say they are going to assess the soil. If the quality is good, then they authorize the farmer or register the farmer. We feel that that research needs to get involved. We have the experts who understand the service. There is also contention over Clause 54 of the bill that stipulates penalties for those who will violate the new law. For example, the clause says a farmer who neglects a coffee plantation shall be liable for a two-year sentence or payment of 48 currency points, equivalent to 960,000 shillings. When a farmer goes into planting coffee, it is a business. And they... Being a business, there are many challenges that come up. Now, you may have run out of capital, you may have fallen sick. Those circumstances are not uh, at clear. Now, if you came to inspect and you find my coffee has gone into a state where you feel it is a neglected coffee, I don't think it would be proper for you to say I am liable to, to imprisonment. Uh, that is why we need to have wider consultation with the public. Because for us as a committee, our interest is for the bill to address the concerns of the 68% of Ugandans who are still trapped in a subsistence economy. When they appeared before the same committee, coffee farmers under the National Union of Coffee Agrobusiness and Farm Enterprises also had reservations about some clauses. They were led by former finance minister Gerard Sendaula. Because they also asked us for our benchmarks, we submitted them. So we now want to sit down and cross-check to find out whether what we, put, what we proposed has been accommodated, and if not accommodated, why? Hubbard Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.